Hi, I'm Sasha Petersa, and uh, I'm here interviewing some people from A Light of Hope. Go ahead and slide. I'm Tim Traurig, president and founder of A Light of Hope. I'm Sasha. Hi, Sasha. Hi, nice I'm Tim. Nice to meet you. Hi, Danielle. Nice, nice to meet you. Hi, Paula. Nice to meet you. So, are you guys good today? We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> yeah. All right. A Light of Hope is a support center in Santa Clarita Valley that provides support services for youth 14 to 26 and their families struggling with substance abuse issues or any other self destructive action or behavior. I'm Danielle. I was adopted as a baby, and I think that made it a little harder for me growing up. That eventually led to me getting drunk for the first time at 14. It didn't even click like I might have a problem. But then I got into a really abusive four-year relationship. We weren't good for each other or anything like that. And as soon as I broke up with him, that's when my, my using skyrocketed. And I ended up getting more into alcohol. I was drinking every day. Some other drugs of choice was ecstasy, marijuana. Um, I had a little thing with crystal meth. My parents were so like desperate. They told me one day after I had gotten in some trouble with some cops and they had a group that they had wanted me to go to and that if I didn't like it, I didn't have to come back. And my very first group at A Light of Hope, I broke down, I cried, I, I identified as an alcoholic and, and an addict and I've been sober for almost two years. Two years on August 4th, 2013. My name is Owen. I first started going to A Light of Hope when I was 16 and it was because I started cutting. I've always had family issues because my parents haven't been able to like accept me for like the person I am. I stopped going for a little bit and I progressed into a eating disorder. I was both bulimic and anorexic. Summer of 2011, my parents couldn't control me anymore so they sent me to a boarding school in Utah. But while I was there, a guy took advantage of me. It's very traumatic, I still get like flashbacks about it and I progressed into drinking, which is now my drug of choice. I've been sober on and off for about three years now, ever since I started going to The Light of Hope. My name is Dan Franklin, I'm Sasha's producer and co-writer, and we're releasing our next single, I Can't Fix You, to iTunes on Friday, July 12th. I wrote I Can't Fix You uh, for a friend that struggled and is struggling with um, addiction, and it was really hard for me to be close to someone like that and not be able to do anything. I wanted to save this person, I wanted to fix them, and I couldn't. And it kind of came down to me realizing that because I couldn't do that, all I could do was love them and support them and try to keep them accountable. I just hope that it inspires people to do so because I think that's one of the greatest things that they need is love and support. One of the important parts in the recovery process is getting everybody else out of the way of that addict or the person that's struggling to where they only face themselves in the mirror. Part of the addiction process is blaming everybody else, and everybody else who loves and cares about them gets involved in the mess. Sasha and I are donating 10% of the profits from the sales of I Can't Fix You to A Light of Hope. I'm excited to be partnering up with A Light of Hope. Um, they're in my local community, and they're doing such great work. 